Hey guys, today is Wednesday. I don't have class today because it is Yom Kippur, so we are closed. But I still have a lot of things to do. First on my list is I need to go to the mall and I need to return slash exchange some things at H&M. H&M recently changed their sizing, at least that's what it says online, and I would agree with that wholeheartedly because I used to always be size 6 in tops there. And then I bought a size 6 top on Friday and it was so tight I couldn't move my arms. Like not tighter on the stomach area but like my arms and shoulders. Like there was just no room. And then I bought a size 10 pants and I'm usually a size 8. But I figured I'd size up just so like you know they're not skin tight. And if I gain a few pounds you know I don't have to like go buy another pair of jeans. And those were so tight on my waist. I'm like what is going on with the sizing here? So that was the, that issue. And then Saturday I went shopping with my mom and my aunt. And my aunt bought me some business like professional clothes because I'm going to be doing some interviews hopefully soon. And the a blazer that I got and a shirt fit. But then all the other shirts are huge. And I also last night ordered some jeans on American Eagle because you know what? I'm done buying jeans at H&M because I love, you guys know I love my $20 skinny jeans. But... I don't know what the sizing is anymore. Like, I'm the 8 is too tight, and then the 10 is also too tight. I'm not a size 12, so I don't get it. So I ordered two pairs of jeans at American Eagle last night, and it was really cheap. It was like $50 for two pairs of jeans. And I ordered a bunch of sweaters last night from H&M for the fall and winter. So that was good. Um... And I also then, because I ordered that stuff, I just went through my closet and got rid of some more clothes. But that was all donation clothes, not clothes to sell on Poshmark. Anyways, I also need to go to the post office because someone bought uh, something from my Poshmark closet. And I have to get gas. Always have to get gas. And then I have some homework and stuff to do. So, and I've been touching my hair this entire time. I'm sure that was so annoying. Sorry. I don't know if I just I just recorded my whole outfit I don't remember if it was actually recording well I just got ready I threw on some makeup really quick because if I don't like get ready at least a little bit I feel very unproductive and gross and lazy all day, so I just did very minimal makeup. I'm wearing a t-shirt from H&M. These jeans are from American Eagle many moons ago, but I will have them linked below because they still sell them. And then I'm wearing my favorite espadrilles, which are from DSW. Again, I'll have these linked down below. These are like the perfect fall transition shoe. But now I'm going to go to the post office because I think the post office is open. It's like 9.45. And then I'm going to go to the mall. And then I'm going to come back here and do homework. So I'll catch you when I'm doing something interesting. I love the heat, but you know, it's almost the end of September here. I don't have any clothes left to wear. Um, I need some cooler weather. So I went into H&M, exchanged some stuff. I had to return stuff that I bought on Friday on my own card. I got my watch sized. I got, did I leave my lights on this whole time? <laughs> I got this watch sent to me from Movement, a really pretty like silver and rose gold watch, which is definitely not something I usually wear, but I thought it was really cute and like dainty, but I needed to get it sized. I went to Ulta. It's gotta keep me out of the mall. You really just need to, apparently. Now, on my journey, I'm gonna go get some Dunkin' Donuts. And then I'm going to go home and do homework. 
I really don't want to do any homework today, but I have to. And I have to do some law review stuff. And uh, yeah, I don't want to do any of it. So I definitely need to get coffee and avoid my responsibilities for probably like two more hours. All right, so I just got back. I'll show you what I got. Well, these were the two, these were two things that I kept them. I was gonna exchange them to see like if a smaller size would fit, but they didn't. This is just one of the shirts that I kept. It's just like a black blouse and it has these little like ball details, I don't know. And then I kept this skirt, which is so cute. It's like a little plaid print. It goes like below my knee, so it's very appropriate. And then I have two things back there, a blazer and um, like a white button down that are really cute. And then this is some stuff that I got. I just got this striped black and white t-shirt. Obviously this isn't for interviews or anything. This is just for daily wear. Then I got this button down shirt, which is just a classic blue and white striped button down. And then I got the same shirt, but in green, which is also the shirt I'm wearing right now. I love these t-shirts from H&M. And then I got this amazing like mock turtleneck sweater. I guess it is a turtleneck, but it doesn't like roll over and it's just like a really chunky knit. And it's so nice, but it's so heavy. I won't be able to wear this until like November. But it was just so cute and I've seen it like a million times and each time I'm like, I need it. So I just got it. And this is the blazer my aunt got me. This is so cute. It is so like Ralph Lauren with these buttons. And it's very long, which I like. It comes to like here. Then at Ulta, I got, I got a new concealer. I've used this in the past. This is just the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind because when I do wear concealer, I just want like a really light coverage one. So I figured that would be good. And then I got a brow pencil from Maybelline because I just felt like it. I got a refill of my favorite mascara, Essence Lash Princess. It's $4.99 and it's the best mascara out there. And then I wanted to try a new foundation, like a really light coverage one, almost like a BB cream. You guys know, like I don't really wear foundation anymore. So all the foundations that I have are either too dark for me or too light for me or they're way like too full coverage. So I got the Benefit Hello Happy Foundation. I haven't really heard much about this. Long story short is that my dad spoke to one of his friends that's a lawyer and his friend got me some connections with some really great law firms in my city. So I was just redoing my cover letter a little bit. I re I did my entire cover letter and resume yesterday, like fixed everything, but I was doing some edits, you know, because you had to change your cover letter for each place you send it, obviously, because they're like a different name and blah, blah, blah. So it took me forever, but I did it. <laughs> so now I still have to do all my health law homework for tomorrow. I have to do 20 law review citation checks and I need to do for some professional responsibility homework for next Wednesday. So that's good. It's one o'clock now. Um, I didn't drink like any of this coffee yet because I've been doing a million things. So just another night where I will be awake until two in the morning. Gotta love it. So now I guess I'm finally going to do some homework. So I'm gonna go grab my books, my planner, my highlighters, my computer charger, and we're gonna get down to business. Look out, here she comes. The woman that I love. It's too bad she'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy I'm a ghost in these walls Or at least I try to be 
Cause I hope that I'm not showing How I feel for her But she won't feel the same for me I've got this picture in my mind It's just the two of us Just the two of us But I know I have to try Try to let her go Because she won't be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's giving me these feelings that I've never felt before But she will never know That I love her so well She's with somebody else and I will have to let her go She will never know, na na Never know, na na She will never know, na na Never know, na na She'll never know It's like she stole my heart Without knowing she did But I guess that it will pass Yeah, I can't be the only one Who got lost inside the blue of those eyes I've gotta let her go I know it won't be easy I wanna hold her close But I have to try Try as hard as I can Cause she'll never be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's giving me these feelings that I've never felt before And she will never know That I love her so well She's with somebody else and I will have to let her go She will never know It is five, oh my god, six o'clock. So I didn't go on a walk, surprisingly. I did finish my citations, I didn't edit a video, and I didn't do my professional responsibility homework. But the professional responsibility in my defense um, isn't going to be due for a week to a week and a half, so I'm already pretty far ahead. But basically what happened is I did my law review stuff law review stuff and then I just felt like miserable like not sick but like miserable as in like in a bad mood and just like annoyed about the world and everything which isn't a good way to feel typically I hate when I feel like this it it usually will happen at the end of the day but misery could strike me at any hour um I'm just like I'm not like I don't feel like depressed or sad I'm just like angry like that makes me angry that makes me angry this makes me angry like just everything <sighs> so kind of makes it hard to get things done when everything is pissing me off what I'm gonna do now is take a shower because my hair has like an entire can of dry shampoo in it and I just don't think it'll last any longer maybe I'll edit after that I really don't know but I'm going to go do what I said I was going to do and I don't know if I'm going to vlog anything else tonight. It depends on my mood. It depends on if I do anything. But if I don't vlog anything, I'm going to continue this vlog tomorrow. So I will see you tomorrow. A baby.
is the next day. I just got ready. Um, I put eyelashes on, which I like haven't done in months and months and months. Just because this new blogger I'm following, she always wears them and they look so pretty, but they just don't look the same on me. I am wearing that new foundation I got yesterday, this one, the Benefit Hello Happy. We'll see how I like it throughout the day, but it's definitely like very minimal coverage, but that's kind of what I was going for, so, so far so good. Hi guys, I am leaving school. It's 12, oh my god, it's 12.35. I'm going to meet Jesse for lunch because we just happen to be in somewhat of the same area and he has to work late tonight and I have law review tonight so um, we're gonna meet for lunch I had my career services meeting and well <sighs> you know the thing about law school is that everyone says your first year is the hardest and that's true in some respects it's the hardest in that this is all like brand new stuff it's a brand new routine and it's just like it's hard because you don't know what you're learning and you don't know if you're doing anything right but your second year i feel is so much harder than your first because you know you're in harder classes or at least you have less guidance in your second year classes and there's this pressure to do more and more and more and more like you should oh the, the pressure is that you should always be doing more you know taking on more responsibility getting better grades joining more clubs law review interning here volunteering there like m the career services person today was like oh like where are you interning this semester i'm like excuse me i was like I'm not interning anywhere like you know I got on law review and I was you know I didn't want to take too much on at once and then you know my grades suffer and she was like oh okay well where are you gonna in in intern in the spring I'm like well shit I don't know <laughs> it's just there's so much pressure to always be doing more and I constantly feel like I'm not doing enough like okay well now I'm the member of the criminal justice society and the women's law society and president of the health law society but oh I should join this and I should volunteer here and I should do this and that and the other thing very annoying and this is depressing but sorry it's my life <laughs> I'm not doing well right now that meeting made me feel worse about life and it, like I applied somewhere yesterday and I'm like you know how many places am I going to apply to that I don't even hear back from not that I expected this person to answer me today, you know, it could take people weeks to answer, but like how many places am I going to apply to that I just don't get a response? So I'm gonna go eat lunch with Jesse and then maybe I'll go to Target to, you know, I said this morning, like I shouldn't go to Target because I'll spend more money. Well, did I say that? I don't remember, I said that in my head. Did I even talk to you guys before class? I didn't, did I? I tried in my car, I think, but there was too many people. Hmm. Weird. I didn't even talk to you before class. Sorry, guys. Cause I don't care just how it is. Yeah. Why does it say game day and mimosas and who drinks mimosa out of a bowl? I just want to know. I just got back to school. It's three. And I'm so tired. The only thing that I bought at Target was a phone charger because, as I said, I didn't bring my phone charger today and my phone was about to die. So I had to buy a freaking $10 phone charger. I'm going to go to the cafeteria and get coffee and water. And then, yeah, okay, cafeteria, then I guess I'm going to go to the library. What's up, peeps? That's awful. I'd rather just start the vlog by saying anyway than that. I need to go home and not think about law school for like 12 hours because all I can think about is applying places and my resume and my cover letter and all the places I need to apply to and my law review note, which I have to change topics. I was basically working on changing my law review topic this whole time and it's just so freaking hard if i wasn't in environmental law review i could find a topic like right away but because it has to be like you know somewhat environmental based um uh, i'm just like what what am i supposed to write about 
What's going on? What's the environment? <laughs> so I'm going home. I just like need to leave ASAP. I'm gonna call Jesse, see what he's up to. And that's it. Not Chipotle today. Today I have a wrap and a salad. So I should probably eat the salad first and then the wrap. And we're gonna watch Shameless. Jesse's alive. I'm here. Eating my cold dinner. Well, Grace eats her nice hot dinner. Nothing stopped you from getting your own food or heating that up. I don't need to stop with that. And you missed Shameless last week? Yeah. I don't know what you've been told, but the sky right here.